And you're afraid to leave. Physical violence. Oh, yeah. And you're afraid to leave because there's this threat that they uh, either kill you or beat you up. Who tells you that? Jim John. I, absolutely, it was heroic. I mean, there were people that got out. He lost his life. Yeah. Going where others were unwilling to go, seeing through the smoke and mirrors. You know, it becomes much more obvious when you're there how they were, you know, they were caged for all intents and purposes. And that they had been, they had been so um, demeaned and um, psychologically destroyed that they had lost their own free will. I mean, they, they were. Automatons. I myself was involved in one of these suicide things from, because we were going to die. This was it. The mercenaries were out there. They were coming, and everyone had to die. And he did it to see who wouldn't do it, who would not take this drink. And nobody refused it. We had heard it from enough sources that we were familiar with this um, activity that he would test the loyalty of his members by their willingness or unwillingness to do the suicide drill. It should never have gotten to the point where people could not leave on their own volition. The State Department did not do its job. It had a duty to warn, it had a duty to investigate, and it had a duty to protect, and it failed on all three of those. He never took whatever he was told on face value. He wanted to dig deeper. He wanted to be um, questioning what was being told to him and evaluating it. And he, he didn't trust the bureaucracy. And I think, I'm, not that I don't trust the bureaucracy, but I will, I will challenge it. 